Hey y'all, Patrick here again for Tomon's Guitars and Basses, and today we're going to talk about an effect that I really love using on bass. Octave. 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 And whether it be subtle or completely in your face, adding octave effects to your bass lines is just so much fun, it can really help add more sound and more depth to your songs, and then of course it can just spark a whole lot of creativity too. And for all the octave sounds I'll be getting in this video, I'll be using the Boss OC5. This is a great pedal that sounds really good on bass and tracks really well too. Not only do you get an octave up and an octave down, you can have two octaves down too if you really want. But I won't be really looking at that today. I'll be looking at mainly octave up and octave down, blending them all in together and really what sounds good and what really creative ways you can use it too. So let's go ahead and start with the riff that already sounds really good for bass, but I feel if we put in a little bit of that lower octave to it, it'll just add that nice bit of depth and character to the overall tone. Cool. So let's go ahead and try adding an octave up as well to a completely different riff and see what that really sounds like. All right, that sounds even more full because of that extra octave up. I think having those three octaves together just sounds so good in my opinion. Adding octave effects isn't always needed, but it's a nice little touch again to add that extra little depth to your overall sound. And one thing to really note, especially when you use an octave on bass, not every octave is built the same. So basically a lot of them may not do that well on bass. It's one of those things where if you can try before you buy, I definitely suggest trying that out. Just because the lower notes on your bass, they won't really sound that great going an octave down. It'll flub out and just not sound as tight as it could be. And that's the reason I usually play an octave higher actually too. So I can have that low octave below, then maybe have that one on top of it too without it getting too flustered, too distorted, or too flubby overall. And one really important tip is that if you feel that it's too flubby or anything like that, I definitely suggest throwing a compressor in front of that octave pedal, just because it'll really help tighten everything up and make sure the tracking is even better. And one last thing to say about octave pedals that's just really fun, go ahead and throw a fuzz in front of it because it's just gonna sound nasty and huge and just so much fun to play around with too. But that's all we have for today, talking about octave effects on bass. Again, it's an effect that's so much fun, and not only that, can add just so much character and depth to your overall tone, and just spark so much creativity along the way too. 
But of course, let me know what y'all think about Octave Effects on bass and what effects should we check out next? Thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>